your call. Please leave a message after the tone. This first voicemail was posted by a lady named Wendy, who received a very unusual message from an unknown number. It starts out with the person on the voicemail stating the American Pledge of Allegiance, then all of a sudden bringing up a procedure regarding Wendy's breasts, claiming to be a guy despite having a seemingly feminine voice and expressing their desire to see Wendy's breasts. Message received today at 11.18 a.m. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. The United States of America, and to the republic in which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Amen. Everyone, please take your seats. I'm going to start today's service. Today we are making an offering to Lindy, or, or was it Lindsay? I don't know your name. Anyways, I was just calling because I really hope that your cancer, I mean, not your cancer, sorry, that was awkward. Your procedure with your titties went well. Um, I know, I know they were kind of flat, but I, and, and I know you got a procedure. And, you know, I mean, I don't think God has a problem, you know, he's in the whole, you know, natural beauty thing, but, you know, I'm a guy, and I, I put all big tits in, so, it's just, oh, I want to see you again. <laughs> I want to see what, what they look like. This is a confusing message, isn't it? Well, I'm not going to tell you who this is because I don't want you to know, but I work with you. That's a little hinty hint. Huh. Yeah, okay, bye. The voicemail ends with the individual claiming to know Wendy because they work together. However, Wendy is adamant about the fact that she has no idea who this person is. This next voicemail was sent to a coworker of the person who shared it on YouTube. From the voicemail, it is evident that the person who left it is a disgruntled neighbor complaining about the coworker's dog, which is supposedly a tiny inside pet that disturbs the neighborhood at night. The situation escalated in dramatic fashion, however. Your dog disturbs the neighborhood at night. Either keep him up or get rid of him, or I will poison him. This is your only warning. Considering how this man threatened to poison a man's best friend, it's safe to say that he probably prefers cats over dogs. This last voicemail has a bit more backstory than its predecessors. It all started in the San Francisco Marina District when a woman named Olga was walking down the street and at some point was approached by a man, Dimitri, who found Olga physically attractive. Olga and Dimitri speak for two minutes and then she hands over her business card so he could contact her. Little did she know that this would lead to receiving a couple of disturbing voicemails from the gentleman himself. Yeah, hi there, Olga, it's Dimitri. Sorry I had to leave such a rushed message with you uh, when we... Uh met the other day. I just want to quickly give you your, uh, my phone number and I had to get the heck out of the area. I am single. I have no trouble meeting women. I mean, women approach me six, seven times a day, but I'm very particular about what I like. You're extremely elegant. I couldn't take my eyes off of you and your friends were very jealous. Even if they say they weren't, they were envious of the fact that uh, I approached you and I was very taken by you. This looks like a landline and if it is you may not get the message till monday but when you do call me and then we'll get together for coffee and chat and to let the romance begin uh, because i don't really date timid women because i'm a very direct very passionate very assertive man and i want a woman who's very independent and uh, strong so uh, anyway we'll talk about that but i just wanted to formally introduce myself now i have i leave the ball in your court you call me as soon as you uh, have the courage to. Okay, Olga? Talk to you soon. Bye. As if that wasn't bad enough, Dimitri decides to go back for round two and hit up the clearly disinterested Olga again by leaving her another voicemail. What started out as a weird request for a coffee date ends up being far worse with Dimitri's attempt at psychoanalysis. By the end of this voicemail, 
many of you won't doubt that there is definitely a psycho involved in this interaction. Hi there, old guy. It's Dimitri calling again, the guy from the street. I left you a message several days ago. You said you were interested. Now, here's the way I work. I don't like leaving second messages, but I like you. You're a very elegant woman. You're very attractive, but, you know, I don't play that game. I know your friends tell you not to return calls. You're playing games like you see on stupid TV shows. So here's how it's going to work. It is now 4.30 on Wednesday. But if I do not receive a phone call back from you by 3 o'clock Thursday afternoon, I'm no longer interested. And you can erase my number. I don't play games like that. I'm completely single. I'm very intelligent. I'm great in bed. I make great money. Believe it or not, I'm a complete catch. There's nothing wrong with me. Matter of fact, I'm one of the few men in the city that has nothing wrong with him. Now, I understand if you've got other issues, like maybe you're not playing games. Maybe you've had, I don't know, maybe you were abused in childhood. Maybe your mother has cancer, you're going to chemo. Maybe you're just a person who's extremely frightened or has some, has an anxiety disorder. Maybe you're on uh, some medication for that. I don't know. There could be another issue that I'm not aware of. But nobody says, call me, hands a person a business card, and then doesn't return calls. It's extremely passive-aggressive. You should actually look that up, passive-aggressive personality disorder. And you let me know. If, if you've got issues, psychological issues, if you're on any sort of medication for anxiety or depression, I'm not interested. Okay? But if you're psychologically normal, and you haven't called me because there's been some horrible thing that's happened in your life which prevented you, that's fine. But otherwise, don't call me. Okay? Bye. Considering that Dimitri claimed to be approached by women six or seven times a day, and that there's nothing wrong with him, I'm sure he was able to find true love, even after all these years.